Beauty What's up, everyone? It's your girl, GL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and it's time for us to get into this new LA Girl. What is this? A shade shifter collection. So I gave y'all a video just swatching these and comparing them to other drugstore and high sorry indie brand multi brands. But today I figured we actually dive in and use some of these. So um I posted on my Instagram like swatches and all that and comparing these as well. If anybody was interested and didn't get a chance to watch the swatch party video, but I'm gonna be doing an eye look with some of these today. So I figured one eye I will put one of these multi chromes on as far as these go and then i'll i swatch all of them past so i'll link that video below and then the other one i'll pick one of these for the lid and then one of these for the inner corner so we can use a couple of these shades the palette i'm going to use today with this palette is going to be the color grain vivid press pigments and shadows i tried to find my one from color pop my um colorful matte palette i guess i took it at home by accident because it actually lives here so i can have more than just this palette to use when it comes to rainbow palette because um, I have more than one rainbow palette, so I feel like I should leave more than one rainbow palette. But I left that one at home, so we're going to have to use this one today, girl, because I promised that I would film this video. So I'm trying to get all the videos I promised over the weekend done now. So if you're curious what's on my eyes right now, this is the Peaches and Dream palette from Trial Cosmetics. This video will go up before the one you're seeing now. But without further ado, I will go off camera, get my life in order, and pick some mattes from this gorgeous palette here and then I'll just come on camera and we'll put those shades on so this shouldn't be too long of a video be right back okay girl okay okay y'all so I decided we're gonna put the blue and purple and green one on this side and then I got the shade with the matrix I believe yeah I got the shade matrix to put on the lid with the um glitter sorry the liquid eyeshadow is going on this side and then I'm gonna put the shade sunset in the inner corner on this side but since i already put the glitter glue on my lid i'm gonna start off with that side so i'm starting with the shade jade i believe yeah the shade right here jade the green blue i'm sorry if you can hear the rain in the back i can't do much about that but i'm starting with this one on the lid believe it or not and then we're gonna put the shade topaz which is the blue purple in the inner corner i figured y'all expected me to put this one on the lid so i was like let's switch it up a little bit let's not do that although it's ever so tempted to just because y'all know that's my type of shade bso take this and start the glitter we got on my eyelashes y'all and I'm just like oh no I'm, like, I'm hoping it doesn't mess up my mascara for the rest of the looks I have to do because I still have to do like two more okay it's working pretty nicely I feel like it's a little difficult to move but the dip press out like a lot of glitter glue y'all I'm telling you like a whole bunch just came out at one time when I was pressing it what happened with this is broken on the side, so a whole bunch came out the side. And then I had to try to like use what I had. And since I was using liquid eyeshadow for one, y'all know I didn't need like it on both sides. So I tried to smear it on this one, but then it got caught in my eyelashes. When I brought it down to the bottom part of this halo eye situation, so I was just like, Lord. But... Yeah, so this is how it's working i say it looks nice um let's put the inner corner one in just topaz and then we'll move on to this eye with the liquid one how is the battery already dead on this one too i just got this battery up y'all i just i can't anyway let's do the shade topaz real quick because i want you to see how both shades look and the liquid i try to do is the one i'd be least likely to use just because i was like i know all the shimmer eyeshadow or the dual from eyeshadows I'll be one that I use so that's what it looks like in the inner corner so that's what you're working with let's start on the shade matrix and see how this goes I'm kind of nervous about these I'm always nervous about liquid eyeshadows because I feel like I'm not going to carve it out right or it's not going to do what I hope it does and it's going to look streaky and everything else so I'm just like with these I usually try to pack because I feel like I don't know if it's going to on his own and I wasn't sure what color I felt like would work best with this too so I'm just gonna like oh god let me hope I pick something decent and good out to put on because I'm like otherwise I don't know girl and I'm interested to see how it's gonna be blending on top of it to get you know the edges done that's another thing I'm interested about once we get to that part which we're pretty much there 
But it doesn't look streaky, thank goodness, because that's my whole concern with the brush. As I'm always scared that it looks streaky and weird, but I think it looks nice. What do y'all think? I don't feel like I see that much shifting, though. Maybe, like, other people will see the shifting and not me, because I definitely don't see any shifting. So, yeah. Let's put the inner corner shade in, and then I'll come back and try to work on that outer edge, because I figure you'll be curious, too, to see if it's going to work well. Plus, I need to get a new battery, so. There's that. But we're taking the shade Sunset now for the inner corner. So let's so it has no real blood face to it I feel like so definitely. Okay, I'm gonna just take the brush off and use it with the green and just put as much as I can on it and see how that blends out. So it's blended out okay. Well, then this feels a little sticky when I try. Sorry, y'all. So the car got full when I was blending it out, but as you can see, I got it blended out nicely. I didn't have any issues with blending it out along the side here. It actually looks really nice and defined and easy. So back on up, and we can talk about my thoughts. So I'm impressed with these. Um, I feel like I used a good amount of shades to give me an idea of how I'd feel about the products. At least with the liquid ones, I feel like I didn't do as much, but. You know, it's easier to put powders on than liquids. That's why I want to make sure I showed you all the powders because I feel like just in case for people who might not necessarily be into liquids or feel like they're harder to use, I wanted you to show that it is easy to use. So I used one, but I still want you to see like the um, powder ones because I feel like those are the ones that most people are going to gravitate towards because powder is going to last longer than liquid. So that's why I made sure I used one liquid, but I used all three of the powder ones for you all. But I must say I'm pretty impressed for it to be drugstore dual chromes. I'd like to see more brands come out with drugstore dual chromes that are more affordable. Now, I'm not expecting to get the va va boom that the um, higher end brands do or the indie brands do, I should say. But I still feel like it gave a decent amount. It looks pretty nice. The only thing is with this one on my lid, the liquid ones, I feel like they're not giving as much as the powder ones are off the bat. Then again, it could just be the lighting and where I'm sitting. I feel like if I go outside, maybe it'll be better. I honestly don't know, but I'm impressed with what I've seen. However, my preference is just powder, so I would obviously use the powder ones more than I do the liquid ones, just because I feel like the liquid ones take more time and extra air brushing that I feel like I might not necessarily need with the shimmering one that I have on now in the powder form. I feel like they're just good for quick to go looks. But those are my thoughts on the products. I'm impressed with them. They didn't um, leave streaks on the lid like I thought they were, which I'm pleasantly surprised by. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you all enjoyed this video, honey. Remember you all are diamonds. Be blessed, girl. Bye.